Hello, hi, this is Roger Castillo. As a junior hydrologist, I have to bring out the important focus on how, in, how dangerous urban streams are in downtown San Jose. The Coyote River system, which was actually an 18-year event, and what happened on Guadalupe River system. Looking at Coyote River system at the Santa Clara Street Bridge, where many homes were underwater, while all the focus was on the flood that occurred the morning of the 21st of February, what happened the night before on the Guadalupe River as the river went to near flood capacity at Alma Street Bridge. Running around with cameras at 8 in the evening after seeing the news showing manhole covers popping off on February the 20th, at the Capital Expressway Auto Mall. Looking at the gauge information and seeing the river went over three-fourths capacity, reaching a whopping 7,500 cubic foot per second at the gauge that reads on the north end of the San Jose Manera Airport. This other footage is actually the downtown areas at the abandoned ranger station at Santa Clara Street. Other footage that you'll see this photo at Santa Clara Street during 9 o'clock time frame and the gauging information showing other tributary streams and St. John Street at the Sap Pavilion three feet from going over the banks and this was not a very large storm event. This graph shows Los Garros Creek flows coming in at the Sap Pavilion. The river did reach close to 8,000 cubic foot per second. So many people while they slept were nearly flooded. Following the gauges on my phone during the evening at 9 o'clock, the graph showed that the flows were coming down. Returning home at 10 o'clock, Little did I know that the river went up another foot and a half during the midnight hours. Observing how dry river systems during an extreme drought still pose flooding hazards because of the neglect of the water district and the city of San Jose from failing to clear 10 foot blockages nearly flooded the downtown areas of San Jose in December of 2014. This is the Los Garros Creek at the Sap Pavilion where two confluences, the Guadalupe River and the Los Garros Creek come together. Sharing the information to the public on how dangerous the Guadalupe River system is, the supposed design was to accommodate 14,000 cubic foot per second, but yet this river is going to flood capacity every other year. So how could a river system in downtown San Jose be nearly going over its banks during one of the worst droughts on record? Looking at the information, this happens quite a bit. Observing the 2014 December storms and observe what occurred. This is the gauging information that shows what occurred in 2014 as the river reached 5,380 cubic foot per second when all reservoirs were dry and the river systems. Monitoring salmon populations and following what the river is doing, knowing the conditions to report and save the public. Observing animal behavior like Chinook salmon for the last 34 years gives us a good idea on what is happening with our river systems as they make their journeys in from the ocean. During the drought, filing complaints to the Water District and the City of San Jose for failing to remove these giant debris dams, almost causing a flood in downtown San Jose. A look at the downtown San Jose flood control project. This is an overview 
engineering drawing from an Army Corps project reaches reach 3 A, B, and C, how the water is sent underneath the city and is supposed to accommodate a hundred year event. In the downtown areas at the SAP Pavilion, 14,000 cubic foot per second. But at the airport, this is supposed to accommodate a flow of 17,000 foot per second. But yet this river system is going over three fourths capacity every other year. 5,000 cubic foot per second and the river is reaching three fourths capacity. So how could this river system accommodate 17,000 cubic foot per second? During the evening hours on February 20th, 2017, the water level was at three feet from going over the San Jose Manetta Airport. That was 7,000.5 cubic foot per second. And the airport was nearly flooding during the evening. A look at an average storm entering October 2009 from dry creeks and how they affect the downtown areas as the water is sent through the downtown area. Observing dangerous creek systems like Kanoas Creek that are dry all year go to full capacity in a couple of hours. 2009 Capital Expressway Bridge as the river flows leave the Willow Glen area and are seen at Park Avenue and how high the water got at Coleman Avenue so the flows peaked 4,880 cubic foot per second. I made this film so people can be aware to better be prepared when the big storm will hit. Also to be informed to attend your water district meetings and the city of San Jose meetings because there are serious issues with urban streams in downtown San Jose.